let me give you a little peek into my box of unfinished projects. I see lots of memories, projects I intended to get back to, and things I was just trying different colorways with. These quatrefoil shapes are calling to me, so I'm going to use them today. I'm sure you have your own unfinished projects ready to go, but if you want to replicate the quatrefoil shape, you can check out the link below in my video description for a full tutorial on how to make it. Hi, I'm Sherry and welcome to the Little Beading Closet. Even though I usually bring you beading tutorials, today we're going to mix it up and incorporate some paper crafts along with our beads. I'm going to look through my box of paper scraps, although you could also just use your favorite cardstock. Trim your scrap paper into strips for bookmarkers, keeping them long to start because it's easier to trim them shorter later than not have enough length. Adding an eyelet will keep the beaded tassel from ripping out of the bookmark. Just punch a hole and set the eyelet. Here I'm using my crocodile for the job. The beautiful colors were made using Distress Oxide sprays on heavyweight watercolor paper. I wanted to add a finish to the other side of my bookmark. This isn't completely necessary, but I just love playing around with different mediums. Here I'm just blending some Distress Oxide inks together until I'm happy with the finished effect. Speaking about different mediums, why not throw some embossing powder into the mix? I love using gold, but today I sampled some other colors and decided on the holographic one. Using a well-loved pad of embossing ink, I'll press the edge of my bookmark directly onto the pad. Now that I'm finished with the paper for my bookmark, I'm ready to attach the beads. I like to work with a mix of beads. I'll usually start with a size 6, drop down to a size 11, and finish with size 15s. Make sure that you tie off and secure any loose ends from your unfinished project before cutting off your thread. Using a size 12 beading needle, and 24 inches of fire line. You'll want to find a place on your unfinished project that you can knot your thread on. Determine what spot of your unfinished project you're going to use to start adding beads. And then start needling through whatever beads you have to that point. Using these larger size six beads, or you could use some crystals, any bead that you like, here at the end, will make a smooth transition from my existing piece to the bookmarker. So now I'm going to start my single row of herringbone using size 11 seed beads. I'm going to pick up two size 11s and come all the way through all the size 6 beads that I just added. And I just want my size 11 seed beads to sit side by side here at the end. Our goal now is to come back up here to the size 11s on top. So do what you can with the beads that you have. For me, I just need to needle through here and then I'm going to needle through one of my seed beads. Needle back up through your larger beads and make sure that you're exiting one of the size 11s. Needle through one of the Picking up two more size 11 C beads, I'm going to needle into the other size 11. These two, again, will sit here above the two that you just added. So coming down this side, I just need to needle up the other side. And that is all there is to it. It's just the process of picking up two seed beads. And now from now on, you will come down two seed beads and up three. Pick up two seed beads 
come down two seed beads, and then up three seed beads, pulling it tight. I'm happy with the amount of size 11s I've added, and now I'm going to switch over here to the 15s and repeat that. I continued my stitch using the size 15 seed beads, and now I'm ready to check my progress. I need enough length of the 15s that when I fold it over and they meet here at the size 11s, there's ample room to go around the end of my bookmark. This looks perfect to me. And now I just need to attach these 15s back into the existing 11s. Xing my size 15 seed bead, I'll come into two of the size 11s. And now, just like before, I came into two and I'm going to go up three. The three this time are two 11s and one of the 15s here on this side. And I'll pull it tight. So again, I'll come down two, which will bring me through my 15 and the 11 underneath it. On this side, I'll go ahead and come through my 11, pulling everything tight, and then come up two of my size 15s. Everything's feeling nice and secure, and I just want to needle back down the 15s on my other side. I'll come into my 11s. And then I think I'll just add a half hitch knot right here between two 11s, needling into the beads away from my knot. I'll pull my thread tight, and now I'm ready to trim it off. I hope watching me make these bookmarks has inspired you on your creative journey. And as always, have a beautiful day.